Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In this week's video, I'm going to show how the base face of a sheet metal flat pattern can be pre-selected before the flat pattern is created. Let's have a look. First, I'll show what might be considered the more conventional way. I'll go ahead and create a flat pattern. And now I can edit the flat pattern by right clicking and choosing Edit Flat Pattern Definition. There's a convenient button in the dialog box to flip it. And that will go ahead and turn the base face around. And you can do that as many times as you need. However, there's another way that this can be done before you even create the flat pattern. And that's what this video is about, so let's take a look at that. First of all, I'm going to select a face, right click, and choose Properties. I'll change the color of this face so we can see which face is the one we're looking at. It's, it's going to give us an orientation. Making that color blue, I'll go ahead and we can see how this works. First, I have no flat pattern created. There's no icon showing inside my browser. If I rotate the model around and select this back face right here and hit Create Flat Pattern, that will become the base face. You can see because the face is gray and there's no blue face to be found. If I undo this, come back, and now choose the blue face and hit Create Flat Pattern, the blue face now becomes the base face, the one I'm looking at. So that's just a quick way you can control which face faces which direction. Of course, you can always edit the flat pattern and flip the base definition, but this is just another trick you can use. It's short, sweet, and simple, and maybe not quite obvious, but a nice trick to know. That's it for this video. Have a great day.